Yeah, I've already seen this. Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Conquer's Bad for a Day. Five years later. A little over five years later. Anyways, what am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I have some with me today. Kinda. I'm not here. <laughs> okay, so Yoshi Pan is right next to me just playing Super Mario Party. Today's the launch day of that game, so... She's just giving it a try, and she's having a really great time with it, actually. She's really impressed with the game. Would you say he ruined your life? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so basically to explain why it took me this long to get to this finale, basically, the thing is, way back in summer 2013, I did a Let's Play this game, and at the time, I did not own my own copy of the game. In fact, I didn't even have my own N64 at the time. I borrowed Corsair Joe's Nintendo 64, and... Ultra 64 Fan 1's copy of Conker's Bad Fur Day to do the Let's Play. And, well, basically, um, I guess around the time of my birthday, I was having a lot, a really hard time with this uh, segment, and I probably still will today. And, uh, as a result, I just, yeah, I just got tired of the game, and I gave Ultra 64 Fan 1's copy back to him, and also uh, Corsair Joe's N64 back to him. And so, I didn't own the game anymore, or my own N64, and I had no way of doing a Let's Play of this game. And so, last year, or I think it was the year before actually, yeah, like 2016 or something, uh, my mom got me my Nintendo 64 for me, from Amazon. And just last month, I got my own copy of this game finally. So now, I was able to, in the past week, play through the game up to this point, and now here we are. So yeah, that's basically the story of why it took me so long to get to this finale, and I am just pretty much just looping over and over and over again, hoping that these guys will come out so I can shoot them. So today is Friday, October 5th. Once again, Super Mario Party just came out, and we both got copies of it. I got a physical copy, she got a digital copy. Okay, really? Where are these guys at? Am I just waiting? Am I just delaying a cutscene or something? I'm probably just delaying- oh yeah, I was just delaying a cutscene there, jeez. So, those of you who have only seen my Let's Play this game on this channel, uh, a lot has happened the past five years. Uh, I have graduated high school for one thing. Um, I went to college for a couple years, and... Also, I've been basically apartment hopping for the past couple years, too. So, yeah, it's been a very eventful four years for me. Or five years for me, to say the least. Okay. I highly doubt I'm going to get on this first try. Like, I highly doubt it all. I mean, like, I'm, like, a quarter of the way through the hall. And I've only got, like, three hits left, left I do believe. So. Honestly, if I get to like the fourth quarter and I still have like all my HP, then I'll then I'll have a chance. But I, until then, I don't think I really do. But we'll give it our all for this attempt, I guess. Did I get all of them that try? So if I did, I'd be really impressed. I guess I did. Okay. So being that this is an N64 game that's only on the Nintendo 64, aside from its remake on the original Xbox, um. Yeah, it's also in re Rare Replay. Um, given that with Banjo 2, I tried to do this, I tried to record it in S video, and that did not work. It ended up coming out black and white. Well, the same case is here, so I am recording this game on my VC Diamond VC 500. One, yeah, one touch capture. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna die here. Definitely gonna die. <laughs> well, maybe I might get him this right here. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Any more guys? Any more people to shoot? Any more weasels? I guess not. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. I probably jumped at the wrong time there. I definitely jumped at the wrong time there. But I still survived somehow. Okay. Yeah, just the hard part, I guess, with this segment is just knowing when the right time really is to jump because even if they start they stop firing they'll still get you when by the time you're like halfway through the air so it's just really hard to tell when to jump properly or appropriately i don't know okay 
So I think I made it to the last quarter of the room, actually. I think, yeah, I did. But definitely, uh, yeah, not a chance. Okay, first death, there we go, it's out of the way. It's too bad the death has to be slow motion too. Well, at least this time Conker's head didn't get split in half. Can you just shoot them without jumping? I mean, you can, but you can't really get them because they're behind because they're behind the pillar. I don't know if the game will let you. Let's see. Oh shoot! Yeah, it's. It's, yeah, it's not very practical to do it without doing the slow motion thing. It also doesn't help if the game lags, like, what the heck, my capture card's freezing up. That's definitely no good. It's the first time using my capture card on, on this computer, on my new laptop, so... That could be reason why. Oh, great. But this is my only way I can record this game, because my... GC 1500 only takes a uh, composite, and which is not, I don't have a composite cable for my, or yeah, composite cables for my N64. All I have is for AV, and this is the only capture card I have besides my, my diamond, which is pretty much out of commission at this point. After having for like nine years at this point. Oh my god, yeah, definitely do not do it when they're pummeling you with bullets on the pillar. But yeah, I don't think it's very practical to do it without doing this, honestly. If it is, I haven't really had any luck with it. Usually there's like an audio cue for when they stop firing, it's like regroup or something like that. I think that's the point when you're supposed to jump, but even then, still, it's kind of iffy at that point. Okay, so at some point, I'm going to have to start cutting, basically. In fact, actually, now would be the good point, because at this point, now would be a good time, because at this point, we're just, we're just having a lot of fun. I think it is one. Just one? Bonus stars. God. Okay, so at this point, yeah, I'm just gonna start cutting until we actually get somewhere. So I will meet you guys back when either I die or when something happens. Something else happens. Every time, right when I get to the last part, I die. Aren't you with them, maybe? Okay. Okay, maybe that maybe I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Cuz I cuz I haven't seen this part yet. Did it. Wow. 5 years later I finally beat the matrix section. I can't believe it. I don't believe it. then gotta include that mm -hmm. you haven't seen the ending of this game have you no. oh so this is blind for yoshi fan also we're waiting on ultra 64 fan one to come visit so he might end up joining in like randomly at some point One in a million. Speaking of which... Okay, now what? Actually, I know what's coming up anyways. I don't know why I'm trying to print ten it. I don't know what's coming up. Recording for 16 and a half minutes now. Well, there you go, materialist. Thought you could tell. Anyway, 
Money, 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 and freezing capture card, yay! <laughs> I'm literally just slamming blindly with my frying pan at this point. Well, not now. But somehow I managed to actually hit one of the money wads while my capture card was frozen. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, you only have to do three of them. All of a sudden, his throne is like in here. Who's this guy? Barry, you know who he is? You got me. He was real after all. The Fairy Panther King. Hmm. Who are you calling a fairy? No. No, as in like furry, as in ephemeral, like a fable, like a legend, you know, like sort of doesn't it doesn't matter. No. No. Doesn't matter. Not anymore. Not for you, Weasel. Right here, boss. Your bounty. Ah, thank you very much. What are we gonna do with him? You leave him to me. So you're not gonna kill him? Not exactly. Oh, that's good. I guess we won the game. Um, 
sure what's going on here, but I think it's time to make an exit. Beautiful animal. Even though he is about to annihilate your girl, rip you limb from limb, you cannot help but admire his beauty, his power, his poise. He is not a wonderful creature, is he? You're right there, he's not. Just ignore him. <sighs> right. I'm f if I'm gonna live in this world and in this castle. So out of debt. I have something known as technology. Tackles into orbit. Yeah. Mixed with oxygen, two parts petrol. Yeah. Never gonna get home now. Heinrich? Kill. Pull the lever, conk. And with that, our metal suit just appears out of nowhere, so we're going to jump on inside. Because that's our only way of surviving right now. Got us angry more than anything else. A slight miscalculation there, Mr. Professor. All right, so this is the final boss of Conker's Bad Fur Day. We're finally here five years later. So, uh, I have a confession to make. I'm actually post-commentating this part because the commentary kind of just, it literally just stopped recording like ten, like uh, 13 minutes in on the original recording. So I'm post-commentating the rest of this, but on the plus side, that saves me a lot of failed attempts here because without the... <laughs> Okay, so I will say right now that the commentary here from the alert system is more hilarious than any final boss fight I've ever seen. I mean, obviously, there's usually not narrations over final boss fight, but you get it. It's like... It's like the funniest part of this boss fight is just that, that alert going on in the background. And now since the Panther King's dead, there's no actual game over screen. This is literally all you get. So, um, anyways, this is, uh, I think I show about three or four attempts here. Um, one actually had kind of a funny, uh, you know, death to it, so, so I left that one in as well. 
But this is the one where I got, I get, I think the second for this or whatever. It's where I got at least like two hits in. So basically, here's what you gotta do. Once you're in the metal suit, you have to hit Heinrich uh, with a combo to make the alien fall down. And then you gotta go around the back and grab its tail and basically Super Mario 64 Bowser Battle style. Do a tail, you know, do the tail spin or whatever you call it. And you have to aim for the airlock, like you're basically trying to throw the alien out the airlock, basically like everything else already has been. So that's basically how the battle goes, but it's not that simple, at least not after the first hit, because the way this battle works is you have to throw the alien out three times, because the first two times, well actually uh, all three times, it's going to make its way back in. So, but that's really what you gotta do. Um, but like I said before, um, once you get a combo in, then that's your chance to, to get a hit in. But until then, you know, especially after the first hit, you have to do some, you have to dodge some of its attacks. Um, like there's a, there's a bite and a tailspin. Those are the two main attacks that will do them. It will also lunge at you like it is here. But the main thing you gotta avoid is its tailspin, which you have to jump in order to avoid that. And there's also the bite. That bite is actually the... I think it's the hardest to dodge. And I didn't learn until much later, like after several attempts, that you actually have to press Z and guard against it. Yeah, if you press Z, will Conquer will actually do a guard move. And I didn't... We didn't actually learn that until several attempts in. Like, and we... I think we did this bout for at least like an hour or so. That's how bad, you know, I was at this, so... It took a lot, many, many attempts to do this. So I think this is the second hit on this attempt, and yeah, we did, obviously we didn't, I didn't get on this attempt, so yeah. But at some point, I literally just, uh, res you know, resorted to simply just jumping over and over again, hoping to land in just the right spot that I could sneak a hit in and start a combo, thus being able to get a hit in, but. That didn't work out, actually. What you really need to do, I think, it, during the second and third hits, is you need to... I, I'm just... I'm trying not to laugh because I'm hearing the alerts as I'm talking and they're, and they're just so funny. Like, especially when it says, throw the alien out and shut the bloody door. Okay, this is the, this is the funny death right here. Watch. You could tell at the very last second there that I, that we actually just went straight for it. Okay, I will say that some of these attempts were done by Yoshi Fan 2012 also, and that particular attempt where Conquer went out the airlock, um, Yoshi Fan was playing there because she was just curious to see what would happen. Okay, so this is the successful attempt, by the way. I believe it is actually. I'm pretty sure this is the successful attempt. But. That's basically what how it works is you got to throw the alien out the airlock three times. Um, every time you hit the wall, which will be pretty calm often because you know the, it's very difficult to aim, especially the further away you are. The air the alert system will make fun of you and say you're not very good at this, or it will say um, no, not the wall, out the whole thing, you idiot, or something like that. It's just it's really funny. I couldn't. I could not uh, imitate myself accurately. Bloody door. It's just, it's just so funny. Um, so one thing I should also mention, um, do not spin the control stick fast like you have to in the Bowser battles in Mario 64. You actually have to spin the control stick slowly. Which I think is a lot better, but also, but if you're used to spinning it fast, like you did in the Bowser battles, then Conker's not going to spin, and you're going to lose your grip on the tail. So it's very important to spin the control stick slowly when you're doing this battle. But overall, it's a pretty difficult battle, so do not be, you know, discouraged if it takes several attempts for you. And it might seem like we're going to fail on this one, because, you know, I'm down to one hit, but don't worry, we'll get it. Um, but yeah, that's basically how the battle goes. See, as you can see there, we just did, uh, just did the dodge maneuver there with the Z button. Okay. 
So I believe this is the final spin right here. So here we go. Day off or something? <laughs> hmm. This gives me an idea. Hmm. Um, hello? Uh, if there are any software engineers that can hear me, just, uh, type something in. Alright, yeah. Hello. Right. Here's the plan. I won't tell anyone that there's been a lockup, quite a bad one at that, left in the game. If you will say, well, I don't know, help me out with this guy here. What do you think? Hmm. Now, uh, get rid of this background. It's really grimy. Just to hell with the fourth wall here. Uh, and now we got more Matrix. Yeah, definitely more Matrix here. Wow, cool. Let's see now. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. What about... Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, that should do it. Ah, double action. Hmm. Oh, oh, <laughs> you guys. Yeah, right. Okay, take me back to, say, the throne room. Now, Mr. Alien, let's see. Okay, let's get into position. Steady. Just check the shot. There we go. Right. On my mark, and not a moment sooner. Three, two, one, and action. <laughs> Oh, no. That's a bit volatile. Well, we'll clean that up later. Well, I suppose that's it. Yeah, you're not even concerned about the Anything possibility else? might just grow another head? I mean, it's an alien. Who are these guys? Oh, hello. You again. <laughs> if it is a conquer, how you doing, Mr. Screw? You have defeated the evil panther type king. Yes, sir. We didn't like him either. In fact, there seems to be an empty throne. So bloody right there is. Come on, Conker. A pot to throw with you. What? But I... No, you don't understand. I don't really want to be king. I... Oh. Oh, no, I forgot to... I should have brought Barry back to life. Oh, no. Hello, Procomer. Ah, oh, thank God. What are you doing? Get off. It's okay. It'll be good. And the rest of the guys. Marvelous. Yeah, I like it. How could you still be alive? Oh, he probably won't be for much longer. <laughs> oh, King. <laughs> king. You could be king of a toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, king of a toilet. <laughs> you don't know how close you are. You realize that? You just do not know. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh, God, God. Yes, King! I would have thought that! Can, can I be your general? Oh, no. Of all the people in the world that I don't like, I'm in a room full of them. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, the good news! We came back from holiday as soon as we could! Just to celebrate with you on this wonderful, momentous occasion. Didn't we, lady? There we go. The king is dead. Long live the king. Yeah, long live the king. Long live the king. <laughs> yeah, yeah, long live the king. Will you stop repeating 
me. I'm not a PM. Love, love the kid. <laughs> love, love the kid. Love, love the kid. Love, love the kid. So, there I am, king, king of all the land. Who would have thought that? So Conquer has conquered the king, and now he is the king. I guess you know who these guys are now. Cause I certainly do. I don't want to know them. And yep, I may be king. I have all the money in the world. And all the land. And all that stuff. But you know, I don't really think I want it. I just want to go home. With Barry. And, I don't know, have a bottle of beer. Hmm. It's not gonna happen. It's true what they say. The grass is always greener. And you don't really know what it is you have until it's gone. 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 <laughs> Very real moral, and probably one of the most depressing endings of any video game I've ever played. In fact, this probably is, because I, I don't play a lot of games with, you know, unfortunate endings, but yeah, this is one of them. So... Here we are, right back where we started. So, yeah. Five and a half years in the making, this Let's Play is now over. Well, maybe not five and a half quite, but yeah, we started June 17, 2013. And, uh, yeah, here we are. October 2018, finally done with this game. And I gotta say, it's a very fun game. And I would know that because I had to play through it again to get it back up to this point. But, I mean, the final boss, yeah, it was very difficult. And I can't say that I enjoyed doing that part that much. But, you know, once I got past the um, the rest of the game, I managed to get through the Matrix section. It was uh, very, very rewarding, I should say. Um, there's not really much in the way of collecting in this game, is you know, besides the money. So, um not really too much extra stuff for collect you know completionists like me to do so but all in all a really great game just a very depressing ending so if you're not really into that this is not your kind of game or not your kind of story i guess so everyone this has been let's play conquer's bad fur day and this lp probably weighed longer than any other LP for its finale besides well Kirby Superstar and Super Mario Kart I guess but yeah and those will also be finished real soon well Kirby Superstar already was earlier this year but yeah um so I'm gonna still continue to finish other projects in the meantime uh there won't be any new projects for quite a while until all the old projects are done or there's a couple that are gonna be like redone completely so those don't really count necessarily but for the most part, I'm just going to be focusing on finishing older projects for now. Um, so there's still the bonus episodes of Mario Galaxy, the bonus episodes of Paper Mario. There's still... Um, I still got to finish Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. That's going to take the longest. And there's still... Yeah, just a bunch of other unfinished business with other games. But this has been Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, y'all. And I thank, you, I thank you so much for sticking with me, if you did, for all this time. Because I highly doubt anyone would want to wait this long for a finale but that's all i have to say everyone so thank you so much for watching and see you in whatever i just wherever i decide to do next thank you goodbye
So, what'll it be? Um, scotch. Single malt. Space side. No ice. Huh. A man of taste. There you go. Whoa, whoa there, cowboy. Keep it coming. Hmm. Oh, leave the pile. Yeah. Looking a bit down. What's the matter? Ugh, you wouldn't believe it. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. So I guess drink this. Ugh. Doesn't look too good tonight. <laughs> 